Hey everybody, I'm Zach. And I'm Jesse. You're watching Tesla Time News. Episode 544. On now you know. So Elon told us last Thursday at the 2025 Tesla shareholder meeting that he plans on building a 1 million per year production line for Optimus at Fremont Factory's campus and a 10 million per year production line at the Giga Texas campus in 2027, which would be line number two. Drone pilot Joe Tegmeyer has spotted land clearing going on at Giga Texas that looks like what will be for the Optimus factory. Yeah, so this is the northeast section over there by the river. So it's going to be that beautiful ecological walk and you'll mm. get to walk right by Optimus. Optimuses making optimuses. Or is it Optimi building Optimi? I don't like Optimi. I don't even like Octo... I don't even like Octopi. I like to say octopuses. His pet name for me was Octopussy. So we reported a few days ago on Neuralink's patient number two, Alex Conley, and his Arduino project that let him control his RC plane with a joystick. Now we get another update from Alex on yet another cool project. Alex says, converted the track chair to chin drive, learned how to program the chair myself and installed programming with the Neuralink. Let's just say we have the coolest rig at the pumpkin patch. I think his chair is the coolest. That thing that looks is awesome. Really neat. And uh, yeah, so he gets to put a trailer on it. That's awesome. That's I mean, great. amazing what he can do now with Neuralink. That's awesome. Thanks to Beam for sponsoring this episode. So getting good night's sleep is so important for your overall health. And honestly, just about everyone struggles with it at some point. I know I do. I've always had trouble falling asleep and staying asleep. I mean, everything from tossing and turning, waking up at 3 a.m., having my mind racing. And I mean, that's why I love Beam's Dream. It's a warm, hot chocolate style beverage that helps you unwind and get the rest your body truly needs. Dream contains natural sleep supporting ingredients that gently ease your body into rest and keep it supported through all stages of sleep. Since I started drinking it, my nights are more restful. I fall asleep faster and I actually wake up feeling refreshed instead of groggy. Here's how easy it is. You add at least one scoop of Dream to a mug of hot water or milk. You blend with your Beam frother and you drink 30 to 45 minutes before bedtime. Each serving is only 15 to 20 calories, vegan, non-GMO, dairy-free, gluten-free, and no added sugar. And it works. 97% of users report an improved healthy nighttime routine. I can honestly say that this has made a noticeable difference in my sleep. I feel calmer at night, I fall asleep faster, and I wake up ready to take on the day. Shop Beam's Black Friday sale with up to 50% off for a limited time. This is Beam's biggest sale of the year and the best deal that we've ever shared, so don't miss out. No code needed. The discount will auto-apply at checkout. Shop Beam's Black Friday sale up to 50% off our best deal ever at the link below. Shopbeam.com slash now you know, and the discount is auto-applied at checkout. Thanks to Beam for sponsoring this episode. So according to Clean Technica, this September, battery electric vehicle sales worldwide hit an all-time high with over 1.4 million sold in the month. That's up 32% year over year. And in September, BEVs made up a 21% share of the overall auto market. Now, for some perspective, when we started the show 10 years ago, BEVs made up just 0.55% of the auto market. And which EV models and brands led in September? That would be uh, Tesla and Tesla. The Model Y was number one with over 140,000 sales in September globally, followed in the number two spot by the Model 3 with over 67,000 units. His name... Number two. Number three, of course, is the Wuling Hongguang Mini EV. Which, of course, everybody knows because everyone I know has one. Just kidding. It's only available in China, but it does only cost $4,200. And I think that's why it's always a bestseller. It's so cheap. Because it's a, say with me now, a golf cart. So sometimes it's hard to prove that FSD saves lives because it can be hard to prove a negative. But in Clifford's case, I think it was obvious. He says, FSD saves lives. It happened to me tonight. Going through New Mexico from the Tesla shareholders meeting, the head-on collision at 75 miles an hour with oncoming traffic was averted. Just a broken mirror, busted window, and a bit of a shaken mind. Thank you, Elon. Thank you, Tesla. Thank you, Cybertruck. Ooh, ooh. I don't know if you should let people go 75 miles an hour on just a dotted line uh, highway. It just seems like you should have a barrier. Ah, it's New Mexico. <laughs> you know, I mean, I think that's proof of why you shouldn't allow it. But I can see how driving long into the night, you would just like kind of not doze off, but just kind of numb yourself to the fact that you're just driving straight for so long. And thank God FSD was there to save him. Yeah. Also, make sure that you check before you pass. Another great reason to own a Tesla because you'll have the power to pass very quickly. 
All right, let's do a Boring Company update. Boring Company posted final acceptance testing of the Boring Company's first Hard Rock TBM before it ships to Nashville. The TBC tunnels built in Vegas, Austin, Bastrop, and Los Angeles were in mostly soft soil, while Nashville is Hard Rock. Shown is the dust removal system equipped with 15 high-capacity self-cleaning air filters. And a time lapse here. This is eight times speed of the gripper and thrust subsystem. So the total grip force of the cylinders interacting with the surrounding rock is over 4 million pounds. And the maximum thrust load is 1.5 million pounds. And I just want to point out they are building twin 9.5 mile tunnels through Hard Rock under Nashville. And I think it's appropriate that it's Hard Rock in Nashville. Yeah, I mean, there's no country rock. <laughs> country soil. <laughs> And this is what the Las Vegas Convention Center looked like in a time lapse this weekend as 29,755 passengers traveled safely through it during the SEMA convention. Boring. Yeah. So Grok just got an update allowing it to read, reason, and respond right from files that you upload to it. So you can upload PDFs, computer code, CSV, or even full documents into Grok, and it will read them and analyze them and explain them. It can even handle multiple files at once, so you can ask questions across multiple documents. And we're going to discuss this over on our Patreon Investor Club bonus stories today, so join us over on Patreon. As Elon has been saying a lot, try the Grok app, and I can see why. It keeps getting better and better. All right, it's time for some SpaceX news, and Elon posted Gigabay construction underway. Look at that, the four big cranes pulling that building up. Let's get the little details here. You might have forgotten. Gigabay is a $250 million building, 700,000 square feet. Well, you know what? Let me just let Elon describe it. That's our Gigabay. So we're, we're, we're expanding integration to produce 1,000 starships per year. Well, yeah, that hasn't been built yet, but we're building it. That is a truly enormous structure. So this will be one, that, that'll be one of the biggest structures, I think by some measures, the biggest structure in the world. And it's designed for a thousand starships a year. Yeah, a thousand starships a year it's going to build. A thousand. And Elon said, so many spaceships will be born in the Starbase Gigabay. And not to forget, over in Florida, the Gigabay construction at Roberts Road is also happening fast. This is exciting. It feels like an RTS. An RTS, a real-time real strategy time game. <laughs> I shall build a Gigabay here <laughs> and here. Construction complete. All right, it's time for our video contributor stories. Remember, we need your stories. Send them to us at hello at nowyouknowchannel.com. What do we got this week? We've got our good friend, Joe Barletta from Smart Charge America. He is uh, sent this in. Hey, Zach and Jesse, Joseph Barletta here with Smart Charge America. I wanted to show you something pretty cool that I discovered the other day. Check this out. So we talk about redundancies in the Tesla means of opening the door and you have the latch there. But one of the things I discovered was that with your Cybertruck, you can actually go into drive, reverse, park, and or if the screen's not working, I used to have a 2023 uh, or actually a 2014 Tesla Model S and sometimes while I was driving, the screen would kind of just reset itself. It's fine because I had the manual shift, but with this, if the screen does go off for any reason, well, you do have an emergency drive, reverse, or even the ability to put your car in neutral and park that that was actually pretty cool when it comes to things now you know oh did i not know the prindle is up there what there's no prindle there's no prindle it's just prind is this print? I know how to spell Prindle. The letters stand for park, reverse, neutral, drive, and low. All right, it's time for our Patreon bonus stories. For our patrons today, we, of course, have our bonus stories. And remember to enter to win the Tesla Bot action figure giveaway. That's our eighth giveaway in a row. We'll see you wonderful patrons over on Patreon. All right, we're back from our Patreon bonus stories. Time for the shout outs. These are those important patrons who support us at $5 or more a month and really keep the show going because we got a lot of people that make the show happen. Who do we got today? Alan Smith. Emmanuel Lopez, Jason Hofsetz, Norm Cousins, and Sean Bailado. Thank you so much, guys. You make the show happen. All right, it's time for Elon's X's of the week. Elon said physics is the set of math with relevance to reality. Because mm -hmm. two plus two may equal four, but for what? <laughs> Eric Doherty said breaking the BBC's news CEO and director general just resigned after being exposed for deceptively editing President Trump's January 6th speech. They cut when he said cheer on congressman and had him say fight like hell, slashing out important context to make him appear to advocate violence. Except he didn't. Good riddance. The media is facing accountability. Joe Gavia said fake news incarnate. BBC duped the world. Elon said, yep, they do that a lot. Elon then posted there will be a lot of robots in three years. Yun Tasai, who works at Tesla, said jealousy equals 
Why can you have it? Curiosity equals how do you make it? Elon said truth, beauty, and curiosity are the three critical pillars building non-dystopian AI. Tylan said in a post-AGI world, people will simply get used to the fact that computers can solve cognitive problems quickly and beat us in any cognitive domain, just like we're used to computers multiplying large numbers quickly now or kicking our asses in chess and go. Software and math will lose all their scarcity. Elon said that's just the beginning. With Neuralink augmentation, I hope that we can at least understand far more about what digital superintelligence thinks about. Daily Mail posted, Olympics set to ban all transgender athletes from female events after finding scientific evidence of advantages to being born male. And Elon said, mind-blowing discovery. Wow. I guess you'll learn something new every day. The London Economic posted, if a monkey hoarded more bananas than it could eat while most of the other monkeys starved, scientists would study that monkey to figure out what the heck was wrong with it. When humans do it, we put them all on the cover of Forbes. James Stevenson responded, what if that monkey had purchased more bananas for needy monkeys than any other monkey in monkey history? What if I told you that monkey currently employs over 140,000 other monkeys who can afford to buy their own bananas and pay even more taxes so that even more needy monkeys can receive free bananas? Would you still want to study and learn from the monkey then? Elon said, what if the monkey worked super hard to lead a team and build the world's biggest banana farm and gave 80% of it to the other monkeys? Actually, more than 90% after all income and estate taxes are paid. He should have said monkey income (laughs) and monkey estate taxes are paid. Elon went on to say, what's wild is that often the same people who say that Tesla is overvalued and will come crashing down are the same ones who say that a stock award contingent on Tesla being way more valuable than any other company ever is too high. Will from Tesla Jigsaw, our buddy, posted this. Through following Tesla and Elon Musk closely for almost 10 years, it has opened my eyes to media propaganda in the most striking, undeniable way. Not long ago, BBC News thought it was fine to publish the headline, Elon Musk and Prince Andrew named in new Epstein files, whilst knowing full well that Elon was simply invited by Epstein. Didn't accept the invite, never went to Epstein Island. Did the BBC want you to believe that Elon Musk is guilty by association, amplifying the smear alongside Prince Andrew? That was the BBC's choice, not an accident. This is why the BBC has utterly lost the respect of once at admirable viewers. It lies, it deceives, and it does so with astonishing arrogance. And if I see through the lies on a subject matter I know a lot about, one would assume it does the same with subjects I know little about. If anyone's beliefs about any subject are being installed by the BBC or traditional mainstream media, you can guarantee any country's citizens are dangerously brainwashed into believing falsehoods. If truth and facts matter to you, no matter how ugly they might be, X is now the fastest, most transparent platform where truth gets challenged in real time, and we the people are the fact checkers. And Elon said the BBC has extreme institutional bias toward the far left. Mike P posted, these people in early 2025, Musk empire crumbling to the ground, 225 and dropping. Those same people eight months later, Elon just handed $1 trillion. I often wonder if these people understand how stupid they are and just aim to manipulate the ignorant or if they really are as stupid as they sound. Either answer is not so good. Elon said both of their statements can't be right at the same time. Elon then said, my companies are surprisingly in some ways trending towards convergence. (laughs) And then he pinned this one. To paraphrase Voltaire, those who believe in absurdities can commit atrocities without ever thinking they're doing anything wrong. What would happen if there were an omnipotent AI that was trained to believe absurdities? Grok is the only AI that is laser focused on truth. Beff says Kardashev won by 2035. Elon said achievable. Just so you know what that means, that's 10,000 terawatts. We currently generate about 20 terawatts per year on Earth, so that'd be 500 times more energy in 10 years. Isn't it supposed to be the amount of energy that strikes the surface of of the earth Mm -hmm. like the whole surface including the oceans well if you put up satellites maybe i don't know right all right it's time for community mail time and we get some tesla guessers where in the world is this tesla got a lot of tesla guessers today so chris sent these two in Mm, uh not seeing it. How about this one? Mateo sent this in, and yes, that is a Model 3, and no, don't ask me what happens to the frunk when it rains. <laughs> this one? Chris sent- Is that an Arkhamoto? That's an Arkhamoto. Chris sent that one in. Okay. You have to guess where it is. All right. Uh, what's this one? Fabio sent this one in. It's a pink Model Y, and he didn't tell me where it was, but I, I was able to find out exactly where it was. Hmm. From the van, maybe? All right. Oh, red Cybertruck. Where's this? Uh, Nick sent this one in. He sent a little hint along with it. He said that it would help people to know that this place does not require a front license plate. Okay. But it's not that the country doesn't necessarily allow it, but it's that particular place within the country. Oh. Uh. All right. How about these? David sent these in. He said, here's some electric autonomous transportation in, well, I'm not going to tell you where. They're supposed to have been testing them for a few years now, but haven't actually seen them driving around. Only see them parked up overnight. These are tough this week. 
All right. Well, how about this last one? Nice, uh, easy one for okay. you. Not a lot of pyramids in the world. Got to be Egypt. Oh, it's not Egypt. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. And we'll tell you where they are right now. So okay. I hope you wrote them down. All right. So the white Tesla. So Chris sent those in from Dublin. Oh, Dublin, Ireland. Wouldn't have gotten that. All right. The blue Tesla on the beach there. This is from Estoril, Portugal. Oh, where's that? That's right next to Lisbon. Okay. And the Arcimoto? San Pedro, California. Oh, I was going to say Oregon, but okay. Uh, the pink Tesla. I, I found this one. I found this one. I mean, he found it, but he didn't tell me where it was. It is at 5 Holden Street. 5 Holden? You got the street? <laughs> Woolangaba, Queensland, Australia. Woolangaba. Woolangaba. How did you find it? It was the, the website on the... On the sign there, it uh, brought me to the, it was not easy to find. I had to go to their website, go to their locations. Then I had to find all their lo different locations. And then I finally was able to track it How do you know you're right? Because it's the only one that's next to a bird's nest restaurant. Wow. So. Good work. Mm, good that's, work. You that's get full real points for that. Tesla guesser. Yeah. If you can get that, then you get like five points. All right. How about the red cyber truck? So that is in Lethbridge. Alberta, Canada, the only province that allows no front license plate. Oh, I mean, I was going to bet one of the states, the United States. But, tricky. All right, very tricky. All right. And how about these uh, autonomous buses? Milton Keys in the United Kingdom. Interesting. And of course, the last one has to be Las Vegas. That is Las Vegas. Because, yeah, it's either Las Vegas, uh, the Bass Pro Shops, or <laughs> Giza. So... You know, there's not too many other pyramids in the world. Kind of sad. I know. Let's, should, let's get some more pyramids let's going some on. More. So let's go talk to Elon. Thank you for joining us today, everybody. Don't forget to head on over to Patreon next for your bonus stories and to enter for your chance to win that Tesla bot action figure, which we're going to be giving away really shortly. See you on Thursday, everybody. Now, now you know. know.